Hi, today I'm making a video for Aldi. This is an Aldi haul. Um, this is kind of a different type of Aldi haul for me. Um, this was after Christmas and they had a bunch of great deals. So I picked up a bunch of stuff for last, or not last minute gifts, but like after Christmas gifts, um, stuff to organize my house and some food things that I thought were interesting or they were on sale. And I have my receipt ready, it is quite long, and um, I will be telling you the prices, and there are also some things that I haven't um, seen before, so let's get to it. So the first thing that I have, and I'm gonna try to do all the non-food stuff first, and then do the food stuff after. So the first two things that I have are these large storage bins and um, they were $4.99 each and they had um, a couple colors but these are like Aldi's version of the cubes for the um, like the cube storage for Target and they're 13 by 13 by 13 and um, I have a cube storage, but I'm actually not going to be using these for that. I'm going to be using these um, like on a bookshelf at my house and like in my office. So I got these to put some items in. And this is like a blush pink with some gold accents. And then I just got a plain cream one. And um, I am looking at it now and it does have a handle. So you can see in the picture that it has a gold handle. Cause so I was gonna say, I don't know if it has a handle like the other ones, but it does. Um, it's pretty securely packed in here. So I got those two and I'll see how, they had a lot of them, so I'll see how these work out for me and then um, if I need more, they'll probably have more. So like I said, those were $4.99 each, which is a great deal because the ones at Target are usually like $9.99 to like $15.99 depending on like what um, like materials that you choose for it. Also, I'm not using my ring light this time because it was doing a lot of uh, shadowing and brightness, so I just have like every single light on instead. So sorry if the lighting is a little bad, but I think it looks fine. Okay, so the second thing that I got was this Cat Scratch Playhouse. So this is for my sister. I actually got two more. So they had this one, which is Christmas Light Explosion, and they had Ski Lodge, and they had... um like a gingerbread house one so but I'm only going to show you one because I didn't feel like getting all three out of my car so because I'm going to drop them off with her um so I got her the Halloween ones and I don't think I did a haul for that because I just like got them real quick um that was the only thing I got so um she really liked the Halloween one and these were on clearance for $3.99 and they were originally priced $8.99 so I thought this was really great. And like, it's still cute for after um, Christmas, especially the Ski Lodge one. It's like brown and it has like fake snow on the roof. It's really cute. So yeah. The next thing that I got was this um, French press. So, um, I don't remember like what year it was, but one year my brother got a French press for Christmas and he said this is like the good kind or the good brand. And then I saw it at Aldi and I texted my sister and she said this was the brand. So I picked one up and um, I think that she doesn't have a French press anymore because I think she gave it to my brother. Um, so like I I haven't really heard back from her if she like got a new one um so it's either like going to go to her or I guess I would try it out if she doesn't need it or I could return it and 
I think this rings up as coffee maker. So this was $16.99. And um, also, I don't know what NC means, but all of the um, like seasonal stuff was has an NC next to it. So I don't know if that's just like what aisle it's in or like if you can't return it. I, I have no idea. I mean, it doesn't say you can't return anything on here. It does say that there's a warranty for two of the items that I bought, but it doesn't say like you can't return it. But it's the first time I've ever seen that, that there's like different uh, letters next to it. So you can see. On the side. Um, yeah. So, that's why I got that. Um, that's like to be determined. Oh, I'll show you the side though. So it has like steps on how to use it, which I assume are on the inside too, but that's cool. All right, so we'll drop that. <laughs> All right, so I got, I was really, really excited about these. Um, so they had three scents. They had candy apple and they also had um, lavender frost, which I'll show you after this one. And they also had cool mint, but I didn't get cool mint because I was like, mm, I don't know. And at first, it looked like they were on clearance for $4, and I was like, what? Um, so I bought, like, six of them, or four of them. I originally was going to get six, I think, and then I actually got four. So what comes in it is, it's a hand care set. So you get hand wash, and it's anti antibacterial hand wash, hand sanitizer, and hand lotion. And the hand lotion is a moisturizing formula with vitamins and essential oils, gentle for daily use. Um, and it says the same thing for the hand wash. And then um, it says effective for daily use for the candy apple. Um, and I looked at it and the soap doesn't have um, sodium lauryl sulfate in it. It doesn't have SLS in it. So that was good. And so I got these, like this candy apple one is for me. I got a candy apple for my mom. And then um, I got the lavender frost for my gra two grandmas. So I got one for each grandma that I have. And um, it's the same like items, but it's just a different scent. It's actually like really nice looking. It's just like a really nice box. Um, so one of my grandparents, one of my sets of grandparents live in Florida and one of them lives like right by my mom's house. So I usually just drop stuff off on their porch. So, um, and then I mail the, the stuff to my grandma in Florida. Um, and I had some stuff to mail to her anyways. So the next thing that I got, oh, I forgot to tell you the hand soaps. I was like that set that I just showed you. I was really excited and I was like, wow, $4, wow. They rang up $7.99, which I guess is like still good because of the hand sanitizer. Um, but I don't know, I might return the one that for my mom because my mom's like kind of picky on soap. So um, if I have to end up returning the French press, then I'll return the soap. So that's kind of where I'm going with that. Okay, so the next thing that I that I got was this, and this was the only one left. So it's um, hand cream collection, and it's kind of hard to see them because this is like frosted, but it's paraben, um, and I can't say that word, but it's paraben and this free and ultimate hydration. So the scents are crisp amber, Jasmine Petals, Warm Vanilla, Lavender Frost, Sweet Violet, Turkish Rose, and Wild Patchouli. And, um, thought this was good, like, just to have, like, some hand cream in your purse or, like, by your bedside. They're small enough that it's, like, a mini size, and you could also, like, give some to friends or your grandparents or your parents. So... 
let's see how much that was. That was $4.99. So I think that this was $4.99 and then like it was mis the the other soaps were like misplaced in that section. But whatever. $4.99 for seven hand creams is a really good price though. All right, the next thing that I got was this cable management box and they also had this in white and gray. Um, so basically, it's also flame resistant, which I didn't see until now. Um, so basically it's a box, here I'll show you on the side. Basically it's like a box to put your um, like power strips in to make it look like neater. So basically like our entertainment center in our living room has like a power cord and like cords for like different gaming systems and things and it's really messy and it used to be like neater at our old house but the my old house living room was like wider so it it had more space to put the wires and stuff like to tuck behind and um our new house has like it's more of like an open concept so it's there's no places to really hide cables so I thought this would be like a good idea to get because um our sound system used to be like in front of our entertainment system kind of like blocking all of the cables so you couldn't really see them but then like um I moved it because my husband was like I really would like it if like the subwoofer I think it's called I'm like really bad at technology but um anyways like I he was like I'd really like that like um off to the side like it was at the old house like instead if if you could move that for me and then so I was like okay and then like at the old house when it was Christmas time like it was the Christmas the little Christmas tree that we have fits perfectly on top of it so I was fine moving it off to the side because then I could put the Christmas tree on top of it so um yeah I thought this was good to like organize the cables so I got that but I forgot to tell you the price It was $9.99. It also says it um, supports devices while charging. So you could also use it as like a charging station. Like there's an iPad and then you can charge stuff. So that's cool too. I'm trying to see if there's like anything else that's like not food. Okay. So the next thing I got is the thing that I'm like really, 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 really excited about. And uh, I was going to wait till the end to show you, but I'm going to keep it consistent and do like all the non-food stuff first. So it's not going to fit all into the screen, but I'll show it to you. So basically it's a heated back massager and um, it, it's, port it's portable. So... And this is like one of the items that came with a warranty. So at the bottom, there's a three-year warranty. So um, basically it like folds, like so you can put it on your your the seat of your car or you can put it like on a chair in your house or like on a couch, like on your couch. Um, because it has like two different plugs. So it has like, a normal plug for a wall and then like a like cigarette lighter um I, I said that the other day to my husband I was like do we still call it that and he was like no but like I know what you mean and so I was like I'm not even like up with the times of like what to call things anymore because I'm old I'm not really that old but you know 90s kid um because the other day I was like talking about like someone writing on my Facebook wall and I was like oh it's timeline now so like I'm not up with the times, but anyways, um, it has one for your car and one for your house. And, um, so the only like drawback of like my new car is it doesn't have heated seats. So, and my husband's car has heated seats and I was like, oh man, I wish I had heated seats. Um, and then, so I got this, um, to kind of like 
have my own heated seat but I also kind of got it original okay so originally I got it because my husband has like back pain and I was like well just sometimes he does um and I was like okay like I'll just get it so like if he's in back pain we can like unfold this and put it on the couch and he could have it but then I thought I could also have heated seats in my car and I could just take it out of my car when he needs it so it says renew relax unwind soothing heat function um, two speed settings for varied massage and then home and auto adapter for portability um so this was $29.99 but it rang up $16.99 so if you see this definitely get this this is definitely worth it for $16.99 I'm gonna try it out and I wanted to try it out like but I was like no I have to make my video so I haven't tried this out yet um but I really want to I also got my mom, like, the, I can't show it to you because I already gave it to her, but I also got my mom, like, this version of this, but for your neck. So you can use it in the car or you can use it in the house, and you put on your neck, like, a neck pillow, and then it, like, has, like, massaging and heat on it because she keeps on saying her neck hurts from, like, working a lot on her computer. So I got her that, and that one was $16.99 as well, and that one also came with a three-year warranty. I was just making sure. Okay, now we're going on to like household stuff. Okay, so you've seen me haul something very similar to this on a previous video. So I have the disinfectant one, the one that's a clear spray, and they came out with two new sprays. So this one is Grime Busting Powder, powder Power for All Purpose Cleaner, and it's uh, Valencia Orange Scented. And it's SLS free, which is important for me. Um, it's also plant-based and all that, like the other one. And it's for countertops, appliances, sinks and tile, walls, sealed stone, and stovetops. So my stovetop, basically, if you like cook on it once, it gets super dirty and oily and stuff. Um, I do have like, a, it's it's not a white one, um, which shows dirt a lot more, but it's um, it is black, but it gets like really oily. Like I made like fried rice the other day and I didn't even use like that much oil and I had to clean my, my entire stove <laughs> for that. And I was like, seriously? Um, and then I was using, um, like Lysol kitchen wipes, which are like, they cut grease, but I was using like, I kid you not like five to 10 wipes to clean my entire stove. And then I saw this and I was like, basically, this is the wipes, but you don't have to get the wipes. And, um, like, I was pretty excited about that. Um, and the other spray works really well. And, um, I also was using, like, Clean Freak by Mr. Clean, which is really good. Um, so I might still use that, too, because the wipes weren't enough. So I might use Clean Freak if this doesn't work all the way. But I'm hoping that this will work, um, better than the wipes. They also had a purple one, and um, it was for granite, and um, yeah, for granite and like different types of stone, but um, as we learned kind of soon after we moved in is our countertops aren't real granite, they're something else, I don't know what it's, it's not laminate, it's not like fake granite, it's just a different type of stone that looks like granite um, that's cheaper. And so I was like, I'm not going to get the granite one because we don't really have granite. Um, but it does scratch easier than like real granite, which is annoying. But you just have to be careful um, on your counter, on our countertops. Um, so, yeah. So the, the next thing that I, oh wait, let me tell you how much the spray was. Um, it was $4.19. So the next thing that I got were these napkins. And I have used these before. And um, I actually usually get napkins from the Dollar Tree. But since I was already eating stuff, um, I got napkins here. Um, usually the Dollar Tree is like similar products of Aldi, but like less quantity. So like it was like this, but like 100 instead of 250 
So you have to watch out for that when you go to the Dollar Tree. Um, these are $1.45. that I got were these mini iced oatmeal cookies so I've tried the chocolate chip ones and the alphabet ones and they're very good um and they're a nice little snack there's not too many in a bag and I wanted to try this flavor and they also had a different flavor I think it was like gingerbread or something but I didn't get those and there's no high fructose corn syrup in them those are 289 Um, the next thing that I got were these Cuban sandwich flavored chips. Um, I have no idea if they're going to be good or not. It says delicioso on them. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, they expire March 2021. But my husband's Cuban, so I thought we would give it a try. Um, I actually don't like ham, so I hope they don't taste too much like ham. But the stuffing, like the turkey stuffing... Chips were so good. We had to stop eating them. We were like, no, we need to put them away. Um, the garlic bread chips were just okay. They kind of tasted like just like garlic butter, and they were kind they were like really salty. Um, so we just threw those away. Um, but the the stuffing ones, we ate all of those. They were really good. <laughs> um, by the way, this is the very first thing I got. Um, they're $1.29. Okay, the next thing that I got were some breads. So I got some sourdough loaf, some cinnamon breakfast bread, and they also had apple strudel breakfast bread. And the last one I'll show you like after I show you these. Okay, so this is like um, bread with some cinnamon dusted on top, and then it's cinnamon swirl inside. So I thought this would be perfect for toast in the morning, um, or just you could make this into French toast if you wanted to. And also it said Editor's Pick uh, 2019. So best new product. Um, I thought this smelled really good. You can smell it, it smells really good. Um, and then for the sourdough loaf, I got this for um, dipping in olive oil for when we have pasta nights. And also, um, we got the sofrito spices from Trader Joe's. And we also put that in the olive oil to dip the bread in. And then also, with the leftover bread, I could either make um, French toast with the leftover bread or... Um, I can make grilled cheese sandwiches. So I think this bread is pretty versatile. Um, so this bread was $3.99 and this was $2.75. And the next bread that I got were the was the Aldi version of um, the King's Hawaiian Rolls. And I, I did eat some. Um, I wasn't feeling well on New Year's Eve. And I had to eat something to uh, make myself feel better. So we did eat a couple of these. And um, it said it was, like in my previous video... Um, when I got the Aldi haul for like the like craft singles, their version of craft singles, um, they said that these Aldi rolls were a dead ringer for King's Wine and they're not. So we tried them and they are good, but they're not as sweet as King's Hawaiian rolls, which is if you don't really want sweet, because King's Hawaiian are sweet, sweet. They're very sweet. Um, if you don't want as sweet and they're, and they're a little bit more buttery than sweet. Um, if you like that, then I would try these. Um, they were good. And they were $1.35 for 12 
All right, the next two things that I got were um, some Khalifa Farms items. So I pretty much always get these every holiday season. Um, this is the Toffee Tidings almond, cre almond Milk Creamer, and then this is the Peppermint Milk Cold Brew Coffee with Almond Milk. Um, these are very good. Um, this is minty, so if you don't like mint, it's not a hint of mint, um, then don't get this. But this is really good. Um, and I was surprised to, have, to see both of these at Aldi, because usually you have to only get them at Target. So this is like you can literally pour in a cup and your coffee's ready. It's done. And this is creamer that you put in with like a K-cup. Just trying to look for the price. Um, this was $4.49 and this was $4.28. So that's about Target prices. All right, the next thing that I got were these cheese and garlic croutons. I made a salad the other day with some Target brand croutons and they weren't very good. They, um, the seal didn't seal back up. And then, um, like, it was kind of annoying and they had a weird taste to them because um, they used like pumpernickel bread, but it didn't, like the picture didn't have that in it. So it was really weird. So I just wanted some basic croutons for our next salad. And my husband jokes that his favorite salad is a bowl of croutons. So and those were 89 cents. And this next item um, was hauled by uh, one of my friends that makes videos as well. And these are the Speculatius, I don't know how to say it, spice cookies. Um, so I like watching her channel because um, she's vegan and I have like, I'm, I have, I am lactose intolerant. So um, some things that she hauls, like I can eat too because, um, like I try to be dairy free as much as possible. I'm trying to see how much those cookies were. I know these were like on sale. They were 99 cents. That's pretty good for cookies. All right, so the next thing that I got were these Cinnamon Snowmen snack packs. Again, I hauled these in my last video um, of Aldi. I got two packs of these and they were 99 cents each. These are very good. Just enough cinnamon, not really that sweet. Great snack. I love these. Um, I got these again. I've previously hauled these. These are the original crisp crackers. Um, I do believe these are 89 cents. now I can't find anything oh they were $1.49 last time I bought them they were 89 cents but these are like the duplicate or dupe of um like club crackers they're not as buttery so I really like these these are good for charcuterie the next thing that I got was this pancake mix waffle and pancake mix I was surprised that they had um name brand pancake mix there um, they also had um, Bisquick, but for the recipe that I want to do, um, you needed the one that's just add water. So one of my friends told me how to make pancakes in a pan, like a glass 13 by 9 pan. And she said you had to get the cake, the cake, the pancake mix that was just add water. So I'm going to try to make this for brunch this weekend. So that's why I got this. And that was $1.98. All right. Oh, I missed something that wasn't food, so I'll show you that. So the next thing that I got were these Cotton Blend Work Steel Cap Protection Socks. So 
These are um, for my husband and it has arch compression and reinforced heel and toe and zonal cushioning. Um, he, his feet get um, cold really easily and um, like if you touch them they are like ice. So I got these for like the winter time for him to wear around the house. Um, they also had wool ones but they were really rough. So I got these for him to wear. So they don't really have like fuzzy socks for men. Those were $4.99 for two pair. All right, back to the food. So um, the same friend that's vegan um, showed a recipe on making chicken tortilla soup. So I had to pick up stuff for that. Um, I got this chicken broth organic value size. It called for five cups and the normal size was only four cups. So I was like, okay, this one's six cups. So I'll just get this one and then save a cup. And that was... $2.15. Um, it also called for taco seasoning mix. So I picked up one of those when I was there. Um, and that was $0.38. Cents. It also called for diced tomatoes, corn, and one other thing, and black beans. And I also, I, okay, so I already have corn in my pantry, but I don't know how old it is because it's from my old house. And um, I didn't know if it was creamed corn or whatever. So I was just like, I'm just getting it since I'm already here. Um, so I needed, these three things also for the soup. And the black beans were 89 cents. The corn was 49 cents and the diced tomatoes were 99 cents. And I did try to get organic for all of those. For no particular reason, just I thought it would taste better maybe, I don't know. Um, the next thing I grabbed kind of like, I don't, I, like, I saw it and I was like, hmm, okay, I'll try it. So it's coconut water with pineapple. Um, I love co coconut and pineapple, but I don't know how this tastes. If anyone has tried this, let me know down below in the comments. Um, I just thought it'd be good for hydration. I'm always dehydrated, which is bad. Even though I drink, like, so much. Um, now I do. Now I drink so much. Um, I used to be notorious for not drinking anything all day. Um, but yesterday, like, I drank, like, three water bottles and, like, um, I didn't have coffee and it was just, like, I was very hydrated. <laughs> so I try to be better. The coconut water was three twenty nine. Um, it is one liter. So I don't know if you're supposed to drink out of this, but I, I think I would pour it in a cup. Chill and shake well before using. Refrigerate after opening and consume within twi tw twi two days after opening. Just a couple more things. All right, so the next thing that I got were these roasted cashews that are organic and unsalted. These are for my grandpa. He loves cashews that are um, unsalted, and I'm going to send these down with that hand soap that I showed you earlier, and I have some adult coloring books and um, books for them as well, so I'm going to send them a little like late Christmas package. And I dropped my creamer. Um, the next thing that I got was dark chocolate chips. Um, this is for the pancake mix, um, that I, that I showed you earlier to put in the casserole pan. Um, so there is, like, milk in these, I think, yeah. So, um, I do have the Belgian dark chocolate ones that I was gonna make, um, muffins with. 
but I thought these would taste better in pancakes, so I got these. Oh, I forgot to tell you the price of those cashews. The cat, um, the nuts at Aldi are are usually expensive. The cashews were seven dollars and eighty nine cents, and these were a dollar eighty five. All right. So the next thing that I got was canola spray. So this is their like dupe for Pam. I'm going to try it out because I needed Pam. Uh, I use it quite frequently in my house. Quesadillas, French toast, egg. No, I don't use it for eggs. Um, I use like liquid oil. Um, so I, I use this quite frequently. And this, I saw it when I was looking for something else and I was like, really? Okay, so this was $1.35. Also from my friend that has her own channel said that she got this General Sal's sauce. Um, and I picked up some stir fry vegetables and um, in a different haul that I didn't show you, or I might've showed you, yeah, a while ago, I got frozen chicken from Aldi. And it was um, chicken breasts that were frozen. So I'm going to do chicken breasts that were frozen with this sauce and the stir fry vegetables. I got one fresh pack and one frozen pack. So we'll see um, how the fresh versus frozen kind of goes. This was $2.15. And the lot. Oh, I got two of this. I also got um, some Martinelli's, which I was very surprised was at Aldi, um, to toast... On New Year's Eve for the new year but my husband actually got us some champagne so we didn't actually toast with that but this we toasted with that but um, we actually didn't like the champagne we'd never tried it before but it was a really pretty rose gold bottle um, so we ended up not using this but we can use it whenever it was two dollars and 98 cents which is a really good deal and I have one more thing. The last thing that I have is some cookie icing. And they had this in every color. Blue, red, green. Um, they had all the primary colors. And white. So I have some in my previous haul or whatever haul. Um, I had some cookie dough that were pre-cut um, from Aldi. And I wanted some icing to go on top of it since I got some sprinkles too to decorate the cookies. So I got this. Uh, that was a dollar thirty four, and uh, before I sign off, um, I did have a couple other items, but I did give them to my parents. So, um, I had the mini bagels, which I've hauled before. They had cinnamon raisin and plain, and it's a pack of about twelve mini bagels. Um, I usually split them with my mom, and those were two dollars and five cents. And I also got um stuffing in a box but it was with the Hawaiian sweetbread rolls in it instead of like cornbread or whatever they use and those were 99 cents each I got two boxes for them and then um when I went to go get the stir fry vegetables at um, my Harris Teeter which is like just a regular grocery store um I got them some like port wine cheese and some Ritz, Ritz crackers so that was like my parents little like package I gave them so anyways um, oh yeah, I also got, um, almost forgot. It's going to be really hard to show you these because they're big, but I'll try. I'll just show it to you real quick. All right, so I also got these woven baskets. Um, it's really not going to do it justice, especially since my table is full. But you all have seen these at like every store. They're the woven baskets. These have handles on them, and since they were red, they were technically for Christmas, so they were on clearance, and I got two small ones and two big ones. 
and they were supposed to be $4.99 each. Okay, actually the two came in a two pack for $4.99. Um, see, two pack of small. And then they only rang up one of the big ones, even though I bought two and they were $4.99 uh, just for one. Um, and instead of like a two pack, they didn't come in a two pack, but they only rang up one. So, and I didn't realize that till later. Also, oh, I would have said something. But um, I did get two big ones. Um, I think it was because they were stacked and the tag had come off the other one. So, um, like, they probably thought it was a two-pack because they, they were, there weren't two tags on it. Um, and it was the last two. And they also had um, black. But they, no, it was, like, gray. I think it was, like, a dark gray. Um, and they were, like, people were grabbing them and stuff. So, I also got those. Um... Anyways, that is my Aldi haul. I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, if you did, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment below or both. And I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel before you leave. Thank you. Bye.